In this video, guys, I wanted to talk about the Ames DM1010 professional and commercial multimeter from Harbor Freight. Now, what this represents is this represents the top of the line professional model. And I want to talk about some of the aspects of this in kind of a unique way. And I hope you guys will appreciate this. What this is, because you might be saying, well, Tom, what is this thing? What is this top of the line meter from Harbor Freight? What this is, is a rebadge Unitrend UT61D slash E, as seen in the pictures. And apparently what Harbor Freight has done is they wanted to come up with a high-end multimeter, and so they contracted with Unitrend and they talked to them about obviously providing a very rugged, very solid, very well-built meter. Let me say that, let me talk about Unitrend real quick. So Unitrend makes a ton of very, very high quality meters coming out of China. And I certainly um, would not hesitate to use them um, in any capacity. And so what they've essentially done is kind of crafted a combination of the Unitrend UT61D and UT61E. Okay, this one is actually unique. I've opened up the back, as you can see in the pictures. And it's actually a little bit different than both of them, but it's very, very similar. So let me just talk about that a little bit. So what you get with this meter is unlike the Unitrend products, this is actually not a true RMS reading multimeter. The DM1000 is, but the top of the line DM1010 is not. Interesting. So you don't get that, but you get a lot of the features of the UT61D and UT61E. Um, what's unique about this is that, you know, with the with the higher end UT61E, okay, which is a, a slightly higher end meter, you don't get either a backlight or a temperature sensor. And with this meter, you do get both of those. Now, I want to talk about why this meter is a good meter. It's, it's probably not a great deal at Harbor Freight, but it is a good meter. So the UT61D sells for around $45 or so. And the E model, which is slightly higher end, sells for around $50 to $55. So you can compare that with what you see them charging this for this at Harbor Freight. Now I will say this, this Harbor Freight Ames meter does come with a couple of very nice things that the Unity products do not. That is number one, this really nice case. I have to admit, I mean, this case is excellent. And I really like this. It's basically, you just set the meter in here, okay? Just put it in, Velcro it over, and it's gonna be really solid in here. So I really like the case, and there's a pocket too. So you can have, for example, your temperature uh, sensor that you plug in here, it goes into there and there. And that works really well, I've already tried that. Um, <clears throat> in addition, you can hold the manual right in the pocket, just like that. So that would just go right in there as well. <clears throat> you get a nice case, which you don't get with the UT61D or E, and you also get a very good uh, user manual written in English. So if you order the UT61D or E, a lot of times you'll get a manual in Chinese and then you have to go to their web page and then you have to try to download the English version. Not saying that's super difficult to do, but it's very nice to have a well-written in English meter. And this is done by Harbor Freight, so it's actually very well written. So anyway, those are two distinct advantages that the Ames has over the UT61D and UT61E. One thing I want to really focus on that I'm disappointed about this meter is that when you look 
at the insides. You can see that it's not shielded like the UT61D or E. So um, it's a little bit disappointing that Harbor Freight didn't have Unitrend put in the same shielding that they have um, on their other meter meters. Um, that is kind of a disappointment. Um, other things I'll just talk about real briefly on this meter is um, just like the UT61D and UT61E, um, this thing has very solid build quality. I mean, this is a very solid meter. The build quality is very, very strong. It has a really nice grip and feel. The dial is very, very nice. I mean, I have to admit, just like the UT61D and UT61E, this thing is really a nice dial. And the buttons really work well. So the meter works fantastically well. Again, if you want to know really how to use this, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you guys, you should go to some of the reviews done on the UT61D and UT61E, and you will learn how to use this one. Um, I don't want to waste your time by going through an entire review of that right now. My purpose for this right now, this video right now, is to kind of identify the origins of this meter and to, and to try to get to the bottom of how this was brought about by Harbor Freight. And so my theory is, and let me know if you guys think I'm incorrect, because I could be, but I really believe that Harbor Freight basically approached Unitrend and basically just said, look, we want a really solid quality meter and we want it to be something that is we can take from an, a lot of existing stock that you have, a lot of extra parts that you have, and we want to be able to have a really nice margin on this product. When I look at the other meters on the back, actually the DM1000 with its true RMS and other features, I think it's a more capable meter than the DM1010 and this one's cheaper. So I would say, while this is a good meter, okay, it is a good meter, it's not a great value from Harbor Freight. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to talk about this meter, talk about the origins of the meter, tell you guys where you can go to learn more about the meter. And of course, I look forward to giving this away to one of my subscribers. And I look forward to talking to you guys in the next video. Take care.